hit the shot with like six seconds left. I'm just wondering kind of what your immediate thought was and kind of what the plan was from there from that point. Well, Shay, with six seconds left, you don't really have time to express to the team what your plan is. You just play. Right. So we were going to, we're, we're, we're playing man to man. We're going to switch five and, and uh, they did it perfect and didn't let him shoot a three. So uh, yeah, that was really well done there at the, at the end. And have you had a chance to look at the block? No. On, on, on Kevin's block? Yeah. No, no, I haven't had a chance to look at it. So, what else? They mentioned that, uh, the guys mentioned that you were thinking about calling timeout until the ball got to Juan's hands on, on game point. Um, was that just kind of a flow thing that they ran into? No, that? Uh, uh, if we had been down one, I would have called timeout, I think. Mm -hmm. But we, the game was tied. So, uh, you know, we were going to get the last shot, although we probably scored too fast. But, but uh, uh, so I, I thought broken floor, let him play, and the ball was in Juan's hands. And the pass he made to KJ under pressure was great. And of course, KJ made a great catch and finish. So there were there that was two two great plays by by those two at the very end to uh, put it up to and and uh, uh, but yeah, that 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 there, there was. You know, if you, we're going to talk about late game situations. We can talk about how well we did that. Then we can talk about how we didn't switch a slip. Then we can talk about how we didn't protect the basket. You know, late game sits. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing, man? Late late game situation. This is how screwy basketball is. There's zero point three on the clock. Okay, so it can only be a tip. So you put Ernest in, thinking it's only going to be a tip, and then there's one point one, and you can't sub him out because can't sub him after that late a period of time. So, and he's never defended that, and he let the ball go across the across the baseline, and and uh, not his fault. He's never done it. He was just put in there to mm -hmm. make sure to help uh, throw off the lob pass. And when it was zero point three the second time, he deflected it, and the game was over. So, uh, yeah, it, it, basketball's crazy. If you really get into intricate details, so much of it's just good fortune or bad fortune, and. You know, we, we, we caught it. It took us a long time to catch a break today, but we got a couple there late. One more thing on, on KJ. I, I imagine before the season, you don't anticipate, you know, tie game late, he's going to be the guy that, that takes the shot. Um, just how much trust do you have in him right now and, and, and what he's been able to do this, this last month or so? Well, KJ's, you know, the, there's a lot of improved players out there. I don't know if there's anybody that's more improved than what he has, in, you know, since. Uh, since the end of last year to now, so uh, you know it's we, we you know strategy strategically we made a bad bad decision early on because of size difference you know trapping post and they played out of that and you know uh, uh, you know Boone and Cisse haven't been great assist guys and then they were both great the first half uh, passing out of the trap so and then we were slow and then. Then obviously Wright and Bryce got hot, and, and uh, so there are some things that I wish we'd have done different to start, and that's all on us, uh, the coaches. But but uh, uh, but the second half, you know, KJ included, that's about as turned up a good solid man-to-man -man defense we played in a long time. We we guys, they 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 got five points the first twelve minutes, and they were both off offensive rebounds. I mean, we were turned up, and it's hard to and it's the exact same thing as the national championship game. You turn it up, you tie it earlier than you could ever anticipate, and then, then it becomes a basketball game, and because you can't sustain that over 20 minutes, and and, and then when it became a basketball game, you know, uh, it was kind of like a, you know, a fight, heavyweight fight. So uh, fortunately, we got the last blow. They played great. The Oklahoma State played great. You, know, you mentioned the other day that the key to success in the Big 12 is only serve at home. Do you have an appreciation for that for a game like this, or is it still way too early in the calendar to think about something like that? Yeah, it's too early, but it's it, it puts you behind the eight ball, uh, uh, obviously. You can win the lead by losing at home. I, I didn't mean that. Yeah. But it puts more pressure on you. you got to go win at a place maybe you're not favored to win, you know, for sure. And, and, and uh, uh, yeah, but that, that, was a, that was a great win for us. Uh, uh, you know, that, my, my team out there showed uh, – uh, showed what we can do when we're turned up and play well. You know, to score 39 points on a great defensive team like Oklahoma State the second half and only have one turnover, uh, you know, end up out-rebound them. You know, the, 
the difference in, in, in uh, turnover points the first half was 20 to three. That's the ball game, you know, and 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 uh, uh, they they guard well, but you know Kevin threw it to him four times without anybody even around him, and uh, we gave away some so many easy e easy baskets, uh, and then they took advantage of it, and then but the second half we we played pretty sound. That was that was a pretty that was two good teams playing there. What what got it turned up? I mean that that first five minutes was suffocating. Uh, I I don't know that it's uh, uh uh you know I didn't get on. They tell you I didn't get on to them at halftime and. and uh, so we well, screwed that up. So what are we going to do now? And, and uh, so that that was just them, you know. Uh, um, Jalen need to lead. You know, this this was a great initiation of a, of, of a, a league play for Grady. You know, because they faced guard. He, you know, Avery Anderson. Give, give him credit. He sacrificed everything to make sure Grady Dick didn't have a good game today. I mean, that's a good teammate. Uh, 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 and so uh, uh, I. I uh, uh, we 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 gotta we gotta be better in some certain areas, uh, uh, but that's how we're gonna have to win games in our league, guys. And, I mean, we're gonna hope that the games are like this because uh, then hopefully we got enough experience we can make some plays late. But but this league is a monster, and Oklahoma State, you know, we, we played other teams this year that are predicted to go to the tournament, and nobody can can't tell me that Oklahoma State is good or better than most of those teams we played. You mentioned Grady. How how big was it to see him get the two offensive rebounds that led to second oh, yeah, chance yeah. three that, pointers? That was the best he's rebounded the ball all yeah. year. He was great. He was he he did a great job in in that area. And you know the first the, the only two shots he he took or made the first half that, those were those were low percentage shots. I mean he did a great job just to just to make those two threes. The second half when the when uh, when when you know when when. When they score every possession, you know you can set your defense, and it's hard to score against. When, when we're stopping them, uh, and and controlling the defensive glass, now it becomes more open court plays, and and Grady was able to get free a couple of times in the second half, and just didn't make them pay, because he 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 was open there a few times and didn't make them pay. But uh, uh, it was a you know it, that was that was a, that was a tough game. We've had a lot of those, Georgia Tech on you know going way back. Uh, Way down, I think we we're down 17 to two to them, uh, uh, where we've had to come back like that. But that 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 took every bit of energy we had. You guys talked about it's not a 15 or 12 point play when you're coming out and do a timeout. What's the message to you guys? You just want to win the next four or five yeah, minutes. Yeah, that, uh, we, we said that Shay uh, five times tonight was win the next four minutes. So uh, and I, and I'm not sure we won them all, but I, I I know we won the first three segments, and I think we may have won all four of them or all five of them. But a uh, lot, lot, lot of uh, um, a lot of guys stepping up and making some plays, and, and and then when we had them down two, something like that, you know, that huge lead of two, uh, uh, we kept stopping them, but we didn't, com you know, we didn't take advantage of it on the other end when we had some looks. Bill, I, you, you mentioned earlier the the double end of the post, and I know that's been good for you. I know you said I think the other, maybe a couple of weeks ago that you were best once there was like a trap. Um, does this show you that you got your your defense kind of has a couple different pitches? Yeah. Uh, now, as good as we were the second half, we were we were we were worse than that the, uh, uh, the first half. Uh, I mean, we were awful. But a lot of it was, I think, that we weren't quite turned up. If you're going to trap the post, you got to be turned up, and we weren't quite turned up. Uh, uh, but what it did do, you know, the thing about Oklahoma State, it's not that 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 Cisse and Boone are going to score uh, a ton of points. Trapping the post keeps you out of foul trouble. Trapping the post makes, you know, non-passers be passers. There's a lot of things that trapping the post can do if you're good at it, and we weren't good at it today, and they did a great job passing out of it. So we were much better when we just played it straight. You've got Tech next. Um, Kevin's going back to a place he's very familiar with. Is, is that stuff overrated? Do you have to talk about it with him at all? Do, what do you expect out, out of that situation? Well, yeah, we'll talk about it for sure. You know, but he, he, he saw firsthand how you're supposed to handle a situation like that when Juan bit, went back to Columbia. So, but yeah, we'll talk about it. And, and, and Kevin, we hadn't talked about him, but the, the block and the three he makes after just missing a wide open one were, were huge. Uh, uh, so, uh, but yeah, we'll talk about that. It, you know, Tech's not the easiest team to prepare for, as you know, because they guard different than everybody else. Everybody tries to simulate what they do, but they can't. They guard different than everybody else. And and uh, uh, so, 
you know, last year, the first time we played and we stunk, got, got beat. And then after we had a chance to see it once and then practice against it, we were, we were a little bit better. So, you know, basically going down there on one day's practice, because we're not going to be able to do anything tomorrow except talk about it. Uh, uh, it'll, it'll be a really tough challenge for us. Anything else, guys? All right, fellas. <laughs>